Welcome to this informative video on PIRADS. Please like, share and subscribe. PIRADS, which stands for Prostate Imaging Reporting and Data System. This standardized system interprets prostate MRI scans, significantly aiding in prostate cancer detection and reporting. It was developed to provide consistency and improve diagnostic accuracy. The latest version, PIRADS version 2.1, is the focus of this video. Purpose of PIRADS The main goal of PIRADS is to identify areas in the prostate likely to harbor clinically significant cancer. By leveraging MRI imaging, it guides targeted biopsies, reduces unnecessary procedures, and ensures uniform reporting across institutions, enhancing patient care and clinical outcomes. How PIRADS Works PIRADS operates using multiparametric MRI, or MPMRI, which combines different imaging techniques for greater accuracy. Lesions are assessed on a scale from 1 to 5, with higher scores indicating a greater likelihood of clinically significant cancer. This scoring method provides a clear pathway for diagnosis and treatment planning. Imaging techniques in PIRADS Three main imaging techniques are integral to PIRADS. First, T2 weighted imaging offers high resolution views of prostate anatomy. Second, diffusion weighted imaging highlights restricted water movement, often seen in cancerous tissues. And third, dynamic contrast enhanced imaging evaluates tissue vascularity by tracking blood flow. Together, these methods provide a comprehensive diagnostic perspective. PIRAD scoring system. The PIRAD scoring system evaluates the likelihood of clinically significant cancer. Score 1 means very low likelihood, score 2 indicates low likelihood, score 3 suggests intermediate likelihood, while scores 4 and 5 represent high and very high likelihood, respectively. This scoring guides clinicians in determining the next steps for patient care. T2 Weighted Imaging, T2WI T2 weighted imaging provides detailed views of the prostate's anatomical structure, making it especially useful for evaluating the transition zone. It highlights abnormalities such as nodules or changes in tissue density, playing a crucial role in initial lesion identification. Diffusion weighted imaging, DWI. Diffusion weighted imaging focuses on restricted water movement in tissues, a common feature of malignant areas. This technique is particularly important for identifying lesions in the peripheral zone. Higher DWI scores often correlate with greater cancer severity. Dynamic Contrast Enhanced Imaging, DCE Dynamic Contrast Enhanced Imaging uses a contrast dye to evaluate tissue vascularity. Cancerous areas typically show rapid contrast uptake. While not as critical in scoring, DCE supports findings from other imaging techniques and helps identify high-risk lesions. Integration of Scores The integration of scores from T2 weighted imaging, diffusion weighted imaging, and contrast enhanced imaging forms the final PIRADS assessment. The prostate's peripheral and transition zones are scored separately, and the final score guides clinical decisions. Higher scores often necessitate biopsy for confirmation. Clinical Applications PIRADS is invaluable in detecting clinically significant prostate cancer. By avoiding unnecessary biopsies, it improves patient outcomes and supports treatment planning, whether for surgery or active surveillance. It's a powerful tool for modern prostate cancer care. Advancements in PIRADS Recent advancements include combining PIRADS with biomarkers like PSA for more precise detection. Artificial intelligence is also being integrated to provide faster and more accurate readings. With these developments, PIRADS is paving the way for personalized cancer risk assessments and better diagnostic techniques. Conclusion In summary, PIRADS is a critical tool in prostate cancer detection, offering standardized reporting that enhances diagnostic accuracy and reduces unnecessary procedures. Its impact on patient outcomes is profound, helping to ensure early detection and effective treatment of prostate cancer. If you or someone you know is at risk, consult a specialist to learn more about prostate health. Thank you for watching. Stay informed and prioritize your health. Please like, share and subscribe.